something smells like fucking pickles. Uh, still taking me some getting used to. The GoPro's right in my fucking field of view. So now I've been here in California for like uh, almost a month now. Man. Uh, I can't believe how the time's flown. Uh, it's been good. It's been really good. I'm kind of sitting on my butt the whole time. Been out riding a lot, getting to know the area. What's up, dude? Um, so that's been a good thing, you know. I mean, the riding weather is just absolutely perfect out here all the time. Let's hope I don't lose this mic. I feel it stringing out a little bit already. 46, okay. Let's go, Larry. I'm gonna slow it down just a wee bit. So far so good I think. I like where this is sitting. It's kind of off to the side. I might have to fix that with a little bit of super glue or something but I like vaguely know where I am. You're not stopping. Yeah, yeah, way to run that red light there, buddy. Man, that sunset is brutal. Oh, not tap. Dude, get it. A turn signal. Listen to freaking Christmas music in October. It's at like 85 degrees, no less. God, I broke my wrist. Well, I'm pretty sure I broke my wrist. I don't know. I haven't gone to the doctor because I don't have any insurance, but I broke my wrist and this is just killing my throttle hand right now. It's totally worth it though, right? Let's see if I can get some not Christmas music playing. I need to get better at like chatting to myself and not using crutch words, but you know, I'll get there. Baby steps, bro, baby steps. The night, hey look at it, it's happy town. your line. talking to myself about how to ride. Let's see if I can find that lookout spot. Looks like it's coming up here. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Look at that view. Wow. I get lost up here and be absolutely 100% okay with it. I gotta keep an eye on my gas. Wow. Man, California is beautiful. Can't believe I live here. Oh, yes. Some distance between us. Gotta love.
love the sound of this bike. Yeah, I figure 60 is probably a reasonable speed. What's that say? 55, huh? 58, how about that? How about let's... Did not see you. I got lucky. Oh, that's a stop though anyway, so. Oh, yes. Nice Hummer. If I could find somewhere to get out and check out the sunset from up in the mountains, that would be prime. I mean, like, absolutely. It's a nice chill ride through here. There's nobody behind me and kind of take my time, check out all the sights. Trying to keep you guys focused on the road here. But this is just uh, test number two with my videos to see now that I have audio, I can actually talk. Um, See what everybody thinks. Is the wind noise too much? Look at that. Ain't that a sight? Can't tell me that ain't pretty. God, I can't get over that. That's such a good view. Most people are probably confused that that's like the third time I've ridden by here in the last 10 minutes. You're messing up my video. I mean, I could engine break down this bitch. All right, hands on. Ooh, what's down there? Should check that out sometime. Dude, don't be slowing down into a corner. That's that's like a death sentence for me. Okay, I can't target fix here, guys. I'm sorry, but look at that view. I gotta look through the mountain now. I gotta look through the curve. Maybe I can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. help you this pickup truck back there is getting on my duty Ooh, something smells like roasting brakes and it ain't me I still get lost around here that's great where do you think you're going dude it's a fucking red light Guy's been driving bad since he got behind me up in the mountains. Mr. Impatient. Guess he ain't got time for that. I like your Jeep. I want your Jeep. Should be what I said. I really want your Jeep. God, I hate these numbers painted on the road. They're a pain. Lane splitting is beautiful. Y'all are stopped for days. I'm gonna get in right here. Okay, so that was a Nez that I just crossed. Over down that way, there's a Taco Bell. My love. My other love. I'm sorry, Chick-fil-A is first. I know I went a ways, but man, did I really go that far? I need to just go out and get lost and then find my way back home. Now what's this, Yukon? Don't tell me I crossed Margarita and wasn't paying attention. I don't even know my own freaking neighborhood. Come on, Mazda. I want to make it through. I don't want to stop. Excuse me. Huh. 
<laughs> I can't even read my own freaking speedometer. Let's avoid that 45 like the plague. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And there's my love, Chick-fil-A. I could eat there seven times a day. Cause I'm in love with Chick-fil-A. Oh, look at you all Halloweened out. What's up, kiddo? Oh, like, I'm riding along and I'm trying to think about what to talk about while I'm doing this. And uh, it turns out my life is boring as all can be. Like, ain't a thing interesting about my life. Yeah, it looks clear enough. I should never say clear enough because that's how I got hit. Oh, that's something we can talk about. So, my, uh, my first bike was brand spanking new. I mean, like, I think she had six miles on her when I bought her. Uh, Kawi Ninja 300, and I had that baby for like maybe two weeks. Maybe two weeks. And I totaled it out. And I was so pissed off, I couldn't believe I did that. So what happened is my driveway was across from a development, right? And this development, there's no left turn lane. So it's just two lanes north, two lanes south. Anyway, I'm sitting in the left lane to turn left into my driveway, and this big flatbed F450 is sitting in the opposite, going to turn across from me, and I couldn't see around him. I thought it was clear, so I tried to go, and uh, turns out it wasn't clear, and as soon as I got halfway through that second lane, I looked over and I see... There's a Chevy Equinox, which is barreling down right on me, 45, smacked me on my tailpipe. And the uh, next thing I know, I'm standing in my driveway with my helmet, wondering what the hell just happened and how I got there. That was, that was an interesting thing. But anyway, the dude in the truck gets out and he's trying to pick up my bike and I'm like, just leave it, man. It's, it's foobard. And uh, I'll put some pictures up, but bent the swing arm all over to the left, uh, completely destroyed the muffler, destroyed the rear sets, and yeah, okay, now. Jackass. I paid like five grand for that stupid thing. Lucky part was uh, the insurance adjusters gave me the full price for it, so I came out even, but. Yeah, no, it just completely totaled the bike out. Two weeks old. And here's the kicker. Ninja 300 had 300 miles on it when it totaled out. That was what, uh, that was what made me laugh. MotoGP! Anticlimactic. Should totally end it with that. <laughs>